Hi, I'm Katan from Brightside Dental. Welcome to episode 35 of BSTV. Today I'm going to talk about sensitive teeth. So tooth sensitivity is something that's uh, very common and um, affects many people. Now, sometimes it can just be very mild sensitivity, might use a desensitizing toothpaste and it may help it settle down, which is fine if that does help. However, um, often there can be other underlying factors and causes that um, increase sensitivity. And I'm going to discuss uh, six of the most uh, common causes now. So the first one is from over vigorous toothbrushing. So the natural thing is often we feel that the harder we go with our brushing, the cleaner our teeth are. Um, however, that can cause wear of the teeth near the root area and it can expose nerve endings which then become sensitive and uh, this is likely to happen a lot more with a manual toothbrush um, where you put a lot more pressure than a battery powered brush. Um, the second cause of sensitivity can be due to dental decay so if there is a cavity or decay forming in a tooth it might be sensitive when eating or to hot and cold things. Now the other thing to be aware of is that we see many patients in the practice where they feel nothing, have no kind of sensitivity, but there can be decay in the teeth. So if there's ongoing sensitivity, definitely worth having it checked out. Um, the next uh, main cause is due to gum disease and um, reduction in bone levels, recession of the gums. So if you have <clears throat> any kind of advanced gum disease, um, it can cause loss of bone support around the teeth um, and as a result often the gum then reduces and then what this means is that parts of the roots can be exposed which for some people can become uh, sensitive to them. The uh, cause number four is due to damage from what's called acid erosion so um, it can be due to factors within your diet like um, acidic foods such as uh, lemons, oranges, um, also due to various drinks like um, fizzy drinks, sports drinks, juices, wines as well, which um, are all very acidic and cause what's called erosion, which wears down the enamel of the teeth. As this wears down, <coughs> for some people, this can then lead to sensitivity. Um, the next cause can be following dental treatment. So sometimes it could be um, following hygienist treatment or having some restorative treatment like fillings, crown work and after having this done there can be some disturbance in the mouth which can cause sensitivity. Normally this is quite temporary and it will last a few days, maybe a week or two. Um, if it does persist any longer than that certainly do seek advice from your dentist. And then um, main cause number six is due to teeth whitening. So teeth whitening is a very simple procedure. However, for some people, it does cause or increase sensitivity of the teeth. Now, provided the whitening is done in a proper way and directed by a dental professional, this will be something that's very temporary and it will um, subside very soon after completing the whitening. However, um, if whitening is carried out, for example, with a over-the-counter internet kit or in your beauty salon, sometimes there are products within these kits that then can damage the teeth and could cause ongoing sensitivity. So if um, there is anything like that that persists um, or causes more issues, then certainly do seek advice. And next week, I'm going to talk about some of the things either you can do yourself or that um, your dentist or hygienist can help uh, in order to reduce or treat sensitivity. So do join me then. Thanks for watching today um, and I look forward to seeing you next time.